welcome back everyone i hope you all are having a wonderful morning today we are going to talk about how we can use a texture as an emission source and this was actually a request by yusuf shahin i hope i'm pronouncing the name correct now he wanted to know how we can use a texture map as an emission source and still maintaining its original look and feel like how the texture is supposed to look and using it as at the same time using it as an emission source to make the object illuminate so today we are going to look at that so let me just show you my scene i have a simple model from turbo squid and this is what my scene looks like a simple hdr a backdrop and a base and we are going to delete the hdr we don't we are not going to use it anyways this is just to show you how the scene is overall looking so i have default material so let's try to illuminate this glass over here and try to make it look like the television is on and kind of showing some news or anything so let's stop this for now and um, let's keep it here and i'm going to draw a render region right about there all right now i'm going to go into the perspective mode and i'm going to select the area which is going to be illuminated as a texture source so i'm going to go to the face mode let me just close this for now and go to face mode and select this and if you use shift and uh, the upper bracket you can pretty much grow your selection and if you use lower bracket you can pretty much shrink the selection and i'm going to select this and i think this covers the whole area you can use any television you want i just thought this is pretty nice looking retro tv look and i'm going to apply new material let's call this material uh, texture emission and enter so i'm going to make it something like this and let's see how our scene is looking now let's turn this on and as you can see i have a base color white and i'm just going to change the overall color of this just so we can differentiate into something like this now let's see how we can use a texture as an emission source so i'm going to go to my hyper shade here and i'm going to go to the graph network of my texture emission and as you can see i have a simple texture over here now what we can do let me just minimize this and close this for now and let's go into the hyper shade again and i'm going to bring in my texture here okay so i've brought in my image and this is just a stock photo i found on google which is just a simple breaking news image and i'm going to attach this to the base color and as you can see we have the base color of breaking news now and if you look at this now in the ipr window we have something like this let me just switch this to the camera again and update the full thing yeah so first of all uh, the overall texture is not actually placed properly so let me just select the overall faces and go to uv and planar mapping and i think this is about right let me just give this right about here and i'm going to rotate this to something like 270 maybe. all right and if you want you can also change the overall projection height i think height is overall good i'm just going to scale this okay so now i think it looks perfect okay from here as you can see it's not looking as the television is on you are not actually any emitting any light so what you can do is you can go back to the material and from here i'm going to turn on my emission and let's turn this on so it just makes everything fade away because it's completely emitting white light so what we can do here is pause this go to the hyper sheet and i'm going to attach the same color to the emission color now if we go back and look at this now as you can see this is now emitting the light from the texture now if i make this to this is pretty low i'm going to turn off my hdr from here i'm going to make this zero let's so as you can see this looks pretty fake and not interesting at all i'm going to select this and go to the texture emission again and uh, let's focus this and from here i'm going to increase the emission strength to something like 1.2 let's make it 2 let's make it 5 Alright, we are getting the overall brightness but the problem is our image is kind of being ruined because of the overall illumination so i'm going to change this to something like one maybe 1.5 and that's it so how to solve this now we have a texture glowing image but we want that you can say illumination right so what we are going to do is we are going to take let's take in direction light first to look at the overall scene first let's take this and uh, let me just close this and uh, there it is bring this up scale this up so it's easier and let's manage this to something like this okay perfect pause this and let's close this 
okay so what we are going to do is we are going to go to the anal tab take an area light bring this up bring this right about there and the light is actually throwing the overall light on the backward direction so i'm going to rotate this to about this direction let's make sure it's a complete 180 degrees and i'm going to place this light right about the overall area of the image so somewhere right about there i believe and let's scale this up now okay perfect so now as you can see we have a perfect light going on from here i'm going to move this just a little bit backwards and let's turn this on now and if i select this light and make the exposure to something like eight maybe all right so as you can see we have the overall illumination that means the light is working and uh, you can adjust how much you want now the problem is it is although i you can say illuminating the light but it's not illuminating the overall scene which should be this breaking news first of all let me just get rid of this base and i'm going to move this light and this television lower to somewhere like this i think this will be more reasonable and more easy to see okay perfect let me just move the camera as well and select the camera and maybe change the y direction to something like this okay so going back to the main problem the overall illumination illumination we have the white light all right so to fix this i'm going to select my light and as a light source we have this color over here and i'm going to attach the same image on my color as a light source so what do i mean by this let me just close this again let's go to the hyper shade and here as you can see we are on the material menu i'm going to go to the light section here and as you can see we have hdri directional light and our area light select the area light let's call this area light our texture light maybe okay and i'm going to go back to the original material texture emission and i'm going to select this image copy this go back to the light texture light and paste this right so we have this pasted area light which we do not want and now i'm going to attach this as a color to the color section so now if you look at your area light in the color we have attached this eye stock photo so i'm going to close this now and if i turn on my ipr now it's illuminating the perfect colors as a tv should when it's illuminating the overall television right so i'm going to select my base and let me just change uh, something the floor to something like maybe a darker color and the roughness will be less to something like this maybe right and maybe 0.801 okay so i think this looks pretty good the illumination is a bit high so i think i'm going to decrease the overall intensity on this to maybe like four all right so now it looks pretty reasonable uh, although the scene looks pretty good but i think we still require some illumination or you can say making the scene more dramatic now how do we make this dramatic now to make this dramatic what we are going to do is we are going to attach an atmosphere to this so i'm going to go to my settings here go to the anal render environment atmosphere and create an atmospheric volume now if you don't have any idea about the atmosphere volume i've already made a video on this so make sure you check that out i've explained everything on that and let's turn this on and i'm going to make the density to 0.100 and anostrophy to probably 0.6 and samples to 12 all right so i think we are getting the overall exposure here let me just get rid of this directional light for now so you can see the overall difference here all right and let's make the exposure to 6 and now as you can see we are getting that illumination right so i think we still have the texture a little brighter so I'm going to control this by simply going to the texture emission, emission and making this one again and also going to the area light and making this five, right? So now, as you can see, we get all these atmosphere right about there. You can see little illumination going on. So now I think the scene looks more dramatic and more realistic. Now you can lit up the scene by simply taking more area lights. And let me just go to the perspective view, select this area light, bring this up and uh, maybe just rotate this do something like this and let's make sure it's big enough and let's go to the main camera IPR oh, sorry we already have the IPR and let's yeah so let's turn this on I'm going to select the area light too and make sure the exposure is high enough all right something like this 
So I think the scene looks pretty dramatic now and um, let me just change the color to something maybe like this. Alright, so I think it looks perfect now. And this is how you make your overall illumination by using a texture. So you attach a texture file to your material and also a texture file to your area light to make the scene even more dramatic. If I turn this main area light off, you get still get this illumination. If I make this off, the area light off, you can see this looks pretty dull and non-realistic. But if I make the area light on again, as you can see, we get all this illumination. You can even make the value higher. But that will just ruin everything because we have most of the atmosphere in this. But we can still control this. Uh, for example, if I have six and it's pretty illuminated, I can control the overall volume on this and that will just make the overall scene less subtle. So as you can see, now you can control this. So if you have volume one, it's on the full power. So I'm going to keep it to four, to maybe five. And let's use this area light again. Sorry, one to make sure the scene looks illuminated enough. So now the scene looks pretty dramatic. I'm going to select this floor and make sure the roughness on this is 0.100. You can also make it zero and you'll get all this neat little reflection. I think 0.100 will be good enough on this. So I think now the scene looks great. I hope I answered your question. I hope this technique was helpful for you and you probably got something out of this. If you have any question or doubt, feel free to ask me. This is how you can use texture emission as your source and not only on area light you can pretty much use this texture as a light source on any light there is or any texture you can use this backdrop as well as a texture emission just drop in any image you want onto the material and attach the same material let's go to material texture emission and you can attach the same material to the base color and the emission it's really important that you attach this to the emission because that will just give us the subtle glow that we need for the TV or you can say the LED or anything that you're using for it to glow and it to kind of contain that image quality. So that's why we need it because area light will be throwing that same amount of colors onto the overall camera, but you need that quality on your image. So make sure you attach that to the emission and the base color as well. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions or doubt, feel free to ask me. Apart from that, I think the scene looks pretty great. Uh, it was pretty amazing and i hope you all had fun learning this so again guys thank you for watching i hope you learned something and i'll see you next time bye bye